All right, you guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to apply the lead tape to an actual racket. You could use it for a racquetball racket or you could use it for a tennis racket. I did buy the two pack. So as you guys can see, it is 10 bars of two grams each. So there's 10 strips. Each strip or piece of tape is two grams and that's of lead. I do have my racquetball racket right here. So we're gonna be applying, and uh, it's very important that you guys apply this evenly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a two gram tape here. I'm gonna put one here, one here, and then also I'm gonna flip it and then do the same thing. This is a 180 gram racket, you guys can see right here. So we're gonna be adding two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. So we're gonna be adding 12 grams to it. I like a little bit more of a heavy racket and that's why I bought the tape. So let's go ahead and open this up and apply. Okay, so here is what the individual strips look like. They're actually real flexible like so. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and peel it off. There's actually stickers. And it peels off just like that. Okay, like I said, I want to do the, you want to make sure you're not touching any of this just in case you get the strings restrung. So I'm just going to try to make it nice and even. And then the top also peels off just like that. So I have that black up here, so it kind of blends in right now. But you could actually live this on if you want to see the name brand, just like that. So I'm going to be applying the rest of them now. Okay, so I applied all three on one side. Now we're going to flip it around and apply on the other side. I did want to give a quick tip. If you guys have an older racket, this is pretty new and clean. So I didn't have to clean it off or anything. I did just wipe it off, but not uh, didn't get crazy with it. So if you have an older racket that uh, might be a little bit dirty or rough, just make sure you wipe it off before you do it. I could already feel it a little bit heavier. So I do like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over and then um, put the same exact thing that I did on this side over here. Okay, you guys, so I did put the three on this side and I have the three on this side and it's feeling a lot better than it was before. Like I said, I do like a heavier racket. I did wanna show you guys that if you guys didn't want two grams and you wanted one gram, you could go ahead and cut it in half like so, just like that. So let's say you wanted to just to put one on top right here and then one on the bottom there, you could easily cut these stickers right here. If you guys are still trying to add weight, you can actually balance it off over here. If you have a tennis racket, this is actually called like the throat area right here. So you could apply here and here. And then also you could add, you guys could actually apply on the handle. So we could put some on the handle here and here and then kind of put a grip around it. That way you guys could have a heavier racket. And uh, in tennis, it's a little bit more trickier because depending if you're gonna go, uh, if, you're, if you're more of a top spinner or more of a power hitter. So um, I just wanted to point that out to you guys. So I uh, definitely recommend getting these if you wanna make your racket a little bit more heavier.